first one di array. So all these things are there that we have already seen. But uh, now uh, with this uh, understanding, we have seen that if I am talking about ARR zero, that means it is it, it is the base address of zero at one di array. Or in other words, it is the base address of zeroth element of it is the address of zeroth element of zeroth one di array. Okay. So it is okay to now right now we are pointing to the beginning of one di array. Our aim is to our aim is to now point to individual element of an array. How to point out the individual element of array? As how I can point six, how I can point like here. If I'm this uh, considering it as a normal uh, scene, uh, to address seven will be it will be one one. Uh, sorry, one two. First row, second column, and uh, the value is actually seven. This is uh, comfortable when I am using the subscript or index values of an array. But how to point out seven if I am talking about the Pointer notation or accessing the elements using pointers. That's what uh, the simple rules we are going to see, and then we'll see some of uh, some pointer. So to access an individual element of a 2D array, we should be able to access jth element of ith 1D array. Okay, so jth element of ith 1D array. So let us say that second element of first array. Third element of the second array, uh, zeroth element of uh, zeroth array, that way. So, jth element of a ith one d array that we are supposed to access. So now, if I am looking at this, what this is going to return? This will be a integer, and it will contain the address of zeroth element of so ith one d array. So, if I am saying that like uh, in the previous case. If ARR zero, then it is pointing to zero the element of zero at one D array. ARR plus one, it is pointing to zero the element of first one D array. Then say, uh, plus two, ARR plus two, it is pointing to uh, zero the element of second one D array. Similarly, if it is I, it is pointing to zero the element of ith one D array. That's what written here. So thus, we can access or we can get the address of subsequent elements in one D array. Now it will point to some array, which will be a 1D array, which will be the first element of your 2D array. So now I can just, if it is, if this address is pointing here, I can simply add one, two, three, four in this, and I can get the elements uh, in the further. So this way I can make access the element. So what I can do is I can just add one. So what it will do it will represent the address of first element of the array. First element of address of the first element of ith one d array. And this this is repeated. Or if I am taking two, it is going to point to second element of ith one d array. From where this i is uh, appearing, i is appearing from here, and two is appearing from. Yeah, this index. So, this 1D array can be accessed using this, whereas this is pointing to the base address of your ith array, ith 1D array. So, similarly, I can generalize this statement in this way. When I write pointer arr plus i plus j, will represent the address of jth element, address of jth element of ith 1D array. Likewise, here. Address of first element, address of second element. Here we are assuming that the array is starting from zero. That is why if uh, only arr plus i is there, that means arr plus i plus zero by default will point to the zero. So now I can generalize the statement in this way and will represent the address of ith element of ith array. So, sorry, jth element of uh, ith array. On the dereferencing, this expression can uh, give you the easy, easier thing. So when I say arr of ij, it is actually the pointer, pointer which is pointing to the array, plus i into number of columns, i into number of columns plus j. So this is a jump which, which is provided by it. So, 
if i'm talking about this this is array 1 this is arr this is arr plus 0 rather this is arr plus 0 means it will be pointing to the first element sorry first element of a 2d array what is the first element of 2d array it is a 1d array this will point to the zero uh, i'll not use the term first it is confusing i'll use the term zero okay so this is the zero th element of uh, 2d array this is first element of 2d array and this is the second element of 2d array now if i am taking the zero th element of 2d array it is itself a 1d array so this is zero th element of that 1d array this is first element of that 1d array is second and this is third okay so and what i am simply doing is when i say pointer arr that means it is pointing to the whole array it is pointing to the whole array when i say this it is pointing to each individual row when i say this it is pointing to this element so this is a pointer variables uh, may, 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 uh, may be very clear with the difference these are the pointer variables this is the value at table that means what i am saying is arr plus 2 what is arr plus 2 is the 1d array okay so the pointer is pointing to the 1d array the, uh, the first element of 1d array here it is this, this is ultimately arr plus 2 which is this uh, element plus 0 is the first element of it this is this if i am saying 1 over here it is going to be pointing to this if i am saying let us say that uh, i'll erase this if i am saying 2 here if i am saying 2 here then it is going to point here and 3 here it is going to point here so these are the pointer variables which are accessing these elements and when i exclusively say this value at arr plus 3 it is going to point to this this value so be very careful about this like here arr is going to point to 0th 1d array 0th 1d array means 0th element of 2d array whereas pointer arr points to 0th element of 0th 1d array okay this is this is pointing to the block this is pointing to a single element arr plus i pointing to a block a, a pointer arr plus i pointing to a element similarly here also this points to a jth element of so here this plays a important jth element of uh, and it is pointing to a value value at value okay so this is the way we are accessing individual element of 2d r am i right okay so i suggested you to practice these things uh, i don't know how many of you did because you may have uh, may were busy with the ganpati festival and all but on this and when you practice pointers more and more you will be able to uh, be getting it so tomorrow uh, we will have a quiz on pointers tomorrow we are going to have a quiz on pointers and let you know the timing and all so be ready with all this things shall we proceed yes sir is prompt in the message now coming to one interesting thing called as pointer arithmetic uh as pointers are ultimately the numerical values we are able to perform arithmetic on that but of course output of that arithmetic will be very specific and uh, uh, probably will be very oriented to the addresses than the values so every time you uh, even though we are performing or printing pointer variable as a normal integer variable we must be very clear that we are uh, 
uh, uh, we are actually handling, handling the addresses, not the normal integer values. So we'll take care of it. So what operations we can perform as an arithmetic operation is the increment operation of or decrement operation of a pointer variable. A pointer variable which is which may be uh, declared as PTR or P. It can be it can have a P, uh, P plus plus or P minus minus constants. Okay, the increment and decrement operator. But what will happen if it is an integer pointer? And holding, uh, let us say, holding address 1000. So at that time, if I perform P plus plus, this is going to be incremented by four. Okay, so increment of one in a pointer variable will be actually the increment uh, equivalent to the block it points. Okay, if P is an integer pointer, then the plus one is going to add four bytes into that. If it is a double, it is going to add 16 bytes into that. If it is a character, it is going to add only one byte of it. If it is a array pointer, it is going to uh, add to the complete size of it. So incrementing a pointer by one or decrementing a pointer by one, it is going to be decremented by the total number of bytes uh, equivalent to the block to which it points. Okay. Uh, similarly, we can also perform uh, plus and minus operation, the addition and subtraction operation. Again, the, the things are same. Ultimately, what is p plus plus p plus plus is p uh, is equal to p plus one. So I can increment it by one. So I can use a plus operation. But also, uh, if there is another uh, pointer variable q. I can have p plus q as the as an expression. Okay, this is also valid. P e minus q is also valid. Well, let's see a few examples. We'll go through that how it happens. So there are uh, increment decrement, there are addition subtraction, and we can compare the addresses also because as they are whole numbers, they are they can easily be compared. So whether one address is equal equal to other or not, whether one is smaller or another is greater. This is a, uh, so these three operations which we can perform in pointer arithmetic. How can we perform? I, uh, we have already conducted an example for increment and decrement operation in last uh, lecture, so I will not go much in detail of it. So let us say that a number uh, is initialized, integer number is initialized to 5 and a pointer holds the address. So if uh, what will happen, this will be named as num. This will be named as num, and uh, it's, yeah, it is going to hold value 5, sorry. It is holding the uh, number 5, and let us say that it is stored at address 100. There is another variable declared which is called as ptr. It is a special variable that is a pointer variable, and let us say that it is stored at 200. So as soon as we come to this expression, we come to this expression. Uh, the value here changes to 100. Okay. So now, what is the address of PTR? Address of PTR is 200. What is the value of PTR? It is 100. Where? What is the uh, significance of this, it is address of the variable num, which holds a value 5. Okay, so in this, uh, what can we do is if ptr plus plus is there, I'm going to increment ptr by 2. So now it is right now it is pointing to 100, it will point to 104. Okay, and if it is, uh, I'm saying ptr minus, it is going to point to 96. Getting it. So uh, this way it gets incremented or uh, decremented. This is a very simple operation. Again, I'm uh, saying that adding one into a pointer variables means adding total number of bytes of the block to which it points.
same with is the case with uh, internal uh, uh, increment and decrement. Now uh, let us uh, try to manage with plus and minus operation with this simple example. So what what we did here? We have defined an array. We have five members in that. We have defined a pointer. We have defined a count, and pointer is now given the address of zeroth element of the array. So right now, PTR is going to point to this after this execution of this step. Okay, PTR is pointing to the zeroth element of array AR. Counting is equal to zero. Accessing array elements using a pointer. Okay, how we can do it now? See. Counter is lesser than size. Count is initialized to one, and it will take the values uh, till one below uh, size because we are saying the less than uh, symbol. Okay. So now, uh, what it, it is doing? Value at PTR. Let us say that this is starting from hundred. So this will be at one zero four. This is this will be at one one zero eight, and this will be at one one two, and this will be at one one sixty. Okay, so what is what this will print? This will print hundred value at hundred plus count is zero. So value at hundred it is going to point. What is the value at of uh, value at hundred? It is going to point ten. Then uh, counter is incremented by one. Count uh, become one. It is going to be printed as hundred. Regularly addressing of array, hundred plus one. What, what is one here? It is not a single digit one. It is the one into number of blocks to which uh, the pointer PTR points. Pointer PTR are, uh, points to a block of four elements. That's why it will be incremented by. So value at one zero four. Value at one zero four is what? Twenty. So similarly, all these elements will be printed. So all these elements will be printed one by one. Actual output of this will is going to look like this. Actual uh, output is going to look like this. So it is going to print uh, this form, and every time it is going to print the. So this will. This is what the uh, pointer arithmetic. Yes, I can have minus symbol also here, uh, which will. Uh, what I can do is I can just uh, put here four instead of zero. I am putting it four. So a uh, arr is going to point here, and instead of plus, if I am putting minus, it is going to get decremented to these variables. So output will be reverse. Fifty will appear first, then forty, then thirty, and so on. Okay, so this is about the pointer arithmetic uh, operation that is plus and minus. Is it okay? Shall we proceed, or anything you want to ask? Anything you wish to ask, or shall we proceed? So can you explain this once again? Kanish is asking, what exactly uh, complete arithmetic or only plus and minus operation? Kanish. The program of plus and minus. Okay. This program is illustrating the use of plus and minus operation with pointer variable. With pointer variable, what will happen here? As soon as I declare an array point, array variable, array variable is going to get stored as a as an array. So let us say that this is ten, twenty, thirty. Okay, and 
so these are the elements which will be actually uh, pointing to and they will be stored at some address they will be stored at some address let us say that they are getting stored at 100 so ultimately relative addressing will be there so this will be at 104 this will be at 108 this will be at 112 and this will be at 116 so this is uh, ultimately uh, i am assuming that integer will be of size 4 and that is why i am taking a difference of 4 and this is my array it is named as arr so this is i will not Uh, this is arr zero. This is arr zero. After this line, this these all things that are going to happen. Then I am declaring a variable ptr, pointer variable ptr. So pointer variable will be separately defined. It will be named as pointer variable ptr. Pointer variable ptr, and it is going. Uh, let us say that it is stored at Location number five hundred. Okay, right now it is empty. It is not uh, printing anything. Other variable is defined called called as count. Forget about the address of count because it is not uh, uh, taken into cons consideration in the entire program. So the value of count is taken into consideration. So count is another variable which is let us say that stored at six hundred location number six hundred. Now come to this part. PTR is equal to address of ARR zero. Okay, what is ARR zero? This variable, the zeroth variable of the array. Where it is stored? It is stored at the base address. It is stored at location number hundred. So PTR becomes hundred. Value of PTR becomes hundred. Let us change this here. Value of PTR becomes hundred. So value at PTR value uh, PTR is actually holding the address of First element of an array, not of the whole array. Okay, that you remember. In, uh, it is an integer pointer. It is not an array pointer. This difference you can very easily observe. Here I haven't mentioned any uh, sub subscript with this. So pointer is a individual integer pointer. It is. It, it will never point to an entire block of array. Okay, it will point to only one element at a time. So that's why uh, this difference is there. Uh, if this ten percent wouldn't have been there, this uh, on this subscript is not there. PTR is equal to ARR. It is possible. Then print the accessing array elements using a pointer. What we are doing, we are checking whether sound is less than uh, count is less than size or not. Why? Because that is the maximum uh, index it can uh, achieve. So the count is going to vary from zero to four. Count is going to vary from zero to four. So initially, count is initialized to zero. Count is initialized to zero, and now I am printing print f arr percent d. I forget about this right now. What I am printing is the value of my uh, array as an output. So this is generated by this expression. What is the value of ptr? Value of ptr parent is hundred. And what is the count? Count is zero, so it is going to lead to one hundred. Okay, so hundred is the first element. Okay, so it will be printed as ten. Then count is incremented by one. Count becomes one, and this remains hundred. It is going to point to one hundred and eight. Why hundred added? You may say that only one is added, and you are talking about increment by uh, four elements. Because sorry, one zero four, not one zero eight. Because the integer size is four, and the first element is uh, accommodating four elements, and then only the next element can start. Thus, every time I increment a count, I get one sixty plus three. And I get one zero four. He will again be bring one zero four. Similarly, this is going to happen for count is equal to four three. Count is equal to sorry count one zero eight. Count is equal to two. Count is equal to three. 
0.2112. Similarly, uh, this way the per plus plus operation is happening. If I am taking this as minus, it will be going in the reverse way, 100, 96, 92, and so on. This is also possible. This is also possible, but our array is not pointing to that position, hence we are not uh, actually managing it. So it is ultimately printing the elements using the pointer uh, arithmetic than directly printing it. Why we are not uh, directly printing it? Yes, it is easy to directly print it, but this is faster uh, to point it using the memory location. So that's why we are using pointers. It will be faster. Okay, so this is what the discussion about pointer arithmetic uh, of plus and minus. So shall we proceed now? Anyone have a problem, they can raise it. How the comparison operations can be used? Comparison operations are very simple, simple to use. Only thing we need to uh, take care of that if I'm comparing two integers, two floats, uh, I can compare two strings, but I cannot uh, compare one uh, array with a one uh, integer, the uh, float with a character. So uh, in these operations, whenever you uh, use these operations, both the operands must be of same arity, same type. Okay. So here I can say that PTR is point, num is uh, defined. Uh, a variable num, number is defined. Number is uh, taking some uh, value. Uh, let us say that 10 and is stored at 100. Another variable is created PTR1. Next variable is created PTR2. Let us say that this is located at 200. This is located at 300. Uh, what will happen now? PTR holds the address of num. So value for both will be 100. PTR1 also and PTR2 also, both are holding address of the same variable. So both will be 100, but these are two separate pointers. Okay, they are located at two different locations. So now if I, can I uh, use this? If PTR is equal to PTR1 is equal to PTR2. It will uh, check if it is cor uh, correct or not. If correct, it is going to execute this statement. If not, it is going to come out of the loop. Okay. So this, this is a simple illogical program. This time telling you how it is going to happen. So it is going to in any, any action statement you can write. Okay. So this way, any action statement you can use and uh, you can compare the variables. Another example, if I am going for an array is declared, array is pointing to the zeroth uh, element of that array. And now I am considering what is PTR? PTR is a pointer. And what is the uh, address of uh, array is also uh, a pointer variable. This is also holding address. This is also holding address. So this can be compared to it. It is possible to compare this. Okay, if uh, they are not holding addresses, they are not a pointer of same array, it would have been a difficult one. So as they are uh, both are pointing to the same array, they are, you are going to get the correct answer for this. Okay, so this way uh, comparison operations can also be used. And this is the way uh, we can uh, apply comparison operations also on uh, this one. Now, the last thing which uh, we'll discuss in pointers right now as an introductory discussion, in future we are going to use pointers for functions, structures, for Indian list, for many other things. Right now we'll close our discussion after this. There are some rules that you must be uh, must keep in mind while performing pointer. Okay. The rule number one is the result of two pointer additions or subtraction is an integer. Okay, that you remember. Is an integer is not a pointer variable. If I, uh, okay, that can be taken as address, but it is it generates an uh, integer. So if I'm saying this PTR one, PTR two is PTR one is pointing to zeroth element, PTR two is pointing to the last element. 
I cannot simply say uh, PTR2 minus PTR1 is going to be uh, PTR3. Okay. So th they evaluate an integer, not an integer point. This is your guard So it is, it is, it is not going to. I, I can remove this. I can remove this asterisk, and uh, statement will be correct. But if I am maintaining that asterisk, statement won't be correct because that's a pointer value. It is not an ordinary value. So that has to be there. This is the first rule which uh, we need to keep in mind if I am talking about pointer arithmetic. Second rule which we need to think is uh, result of pointer and integer addition or subtraction is a pointer. Means this. If I am uh, doing this as PTR uh, plus 2, PTR is a pointer variable. I am adding an integer to it. That means it will be incremented by the number of bytes that uh, it is point of the block to which PTR is pointing. So PTR is right now pointing here. I am just writing PTR plus 2, it will point to 30. That is the second element. This also, this here, its addition or subtraction are not generating any uh, integer pointer result. They are generating only an integer which may be address, which may be address, not necessary. Okay, and uh, the result of pointer and integer addition is a pointer. Or I subtract something from a pointer, it is going to be a pointer. It is going to hold the address. That is for sure. So you must not use, uh, last is you must not use multiplication and division uh, operator on pointers. This is not possible. It doesn't, it is not permitted. So addition, subtraction only, plus or minus only. Is not permitted to the uh, multiplication and division of this. Okay. Now, few things with these rules. Uh, is it okay? These rules uh, are understood. Yes, someone dropped a message. So we are in previous size was unidentified. So we are putting it as hard coding. Okay, in this example, size is defined. Okay, sorry, I, I forgot to tell you about this. Okay, this is a this is a this is a preprocessor directory. As we do uh, include stdio.h, here we are defining size as 5, which can be, uh, which is defined externally and used in the program. So it is not an undefined variable, as the message says. Uh, size is not undefined. Size is defined, but it is defined using macro, not inside a program, as an integer size. Okay, so it is uh, defined this way. This is called as preprocessor directive, where preprocessor processes these things. We'll come across this uh, later, but uh, it appears here. That's why I'm uh, literally going back. Good observation. Example before this. Okay. Here we are. Okay, sorry. Uh, it should be five. Yes, it should be five. It should be defined. Better to define, or uh, again, I can go for a defined uh, size of five. The size is actually about the size of array with which we are dealing. So that was a mistake from my side. Fine. Uh, with this, we'll just uh, with these uh, rules. Where addition and subtraction, result of two pointer addition and subtraction as an integer, result of an integer and an integer, uh, a pointer and an integer addition or subtraction is a pointer, and no, cannot use multiplication and division operator. Can you just tell me which among these statements are valid and which are invalid, and why? So if I'm declaring uh, two variables, num is equal to 10 and k is equal to 2, which are integer variables, and three pointers, PTR1, PTR2, and PTR3, uh, which are integer pointers, can you tell me 
whether this happened to be a, a valid statement or not. So they'll hold some value. Uh, definitely, they are going to hold some address, not exactly what the address will be. So can I say that this is a valid statement or an invalid statement? Can anyone uh, tell about it? So if I can ask this question to Anshul Gabne, whether it's a valid statement, can I go for this statement as a valid one? Anshul Gabne. Yes, sir. It's a valid one? Oh, yeah. Sure. This is a valid statement because we are just subtracting a number. So wherever the pointer is pointing, it is going to uh, point to the so output of this will be a pointer variable, will be an address. Okay, so it will point to the uh, two, two elements before, it means uh, minus eight bytes. Will this work? This will also work because k is two, and I can I'm using k instead of two, so this is also a valid statement. What about this? Is it a valid statement? Um, can I ask this question to Dawal Dawal Madankar? Can you ask, this is a valid statement or no? PTR is equal to PTR2 plus, uh, sorry, minus PTR1. Is it a valid statement? You can answer, the answer may be wrong, but just have a justification for it. It is not a valid statement. Why it is not a valid statement, Dawal? Why it is not a valid statement? Divya? Divya Shende, are you there? Because the addition or subtraction of two pointers is an integer, it cannot be assigned. Diva Shende, I think you are not there. I am going to remove you. You are still not responding. So I am removing you from the class. Yes, you are right. Uh, whatever answer you have given is absolutely correct, uh, the one that as it is, it cannot be stored in a pointer variable, and PTR3 is a pointer variable. Uh, what if I am doing this way? Will it work? This will be a valid statement because I am trying to type, typecast it as an integer. If it is, then it will be accepting it. Otherwise, it would uh, not accept it. If I am doing this way, PTR2 minus PTR1 minus A, it will be a non portable pointer conversion. This will not be accepted. Okay, uh, just like this. I'll try to finish because time is running out. Here I am typecasting again, so it will be a valid one. No multiplication is possible, invalid, no multiplication with k even, no multiplication of two pointers is possible, no division is possible. So that's why all these uh, constructs will be uh, invalid statements. So you understood that what are the valid uses of uh, pointers and not. Okay. So based on this, we'll have a quiz uh, tomorrow. And tomorrow we'll be starting with uh, we'll start with the functions in C. 
okay how to use functions in c that will be another backbone for our further programming in data structure because in data structure program we may have uh, seven or eight functions in a single program also so that will be there any doubt you will wish to ask uh, now you can ask or uh, if you don't have any doubts you may leave there is no issue okay this is all from my side uh, so you, you may leave if you don't have any doubts Uh, Thank hello, you sir. Much. Excuse me, sir.